Hello beloved soul and welcome to the Spiritual Support Crew, the podcast created to help support all helper souls during this time of the Great Awakening. I'm your host Helen Crosby and welcome to this first episode of 2022. Apologies for the absence first of all but we are back. And today's topic has actually been around in the ether for a while now, but it seems to be making itself known with a vengeance as we move past this first equinox of the year. It's our return to our instinctual nature, to the wild self. Now, if you've been following my weekly forecast videos these past couple of months, you may have noticed that a recurring message has been to go outside and reconnect with nature. This message came out again for about the fifth time this week, if memory serves, and I was starting to wonder why. Uh, Messages in psychic readings repeat themselves when we're not listening or when we're not getting the meaning. And that's not just applicable to my audience, but also to me doing the reading as well. Sometimes cards will literally keep on coming out until I express the message correctly. And I realised that there is indeed a much deeper message here. Yes, superficially, we are being told to go out into nature, to reconnect with trees, animals, the fresh air, our landscape and ancestors. But why? This question was going around in my mind this week, and I was finally given the answer just after the spring equinox we are going back outside to reconnect with ourselves, with our instinctual nature. This is the crux of the message. It's not about connecting to something external or learning about wild crafts, hunting, foraging or something outside of us. Although that may be something you're drawn to right now and that's okay. It's about going outside so that we can go in And remember that this landscape, this natural world, is our habitat. We belong in nature and we're beginning to remember that now. It feels very much to me right now, as we go through this period of the Great Awakening, that one of the biggest aha moments will be to remember that we are part of the natural world. We are not separate from it because we can't survive without it. Why did we ever fall into the mistaken belief that our home, our planet, was something we were separate from? When did we start believing that we needed all these artificial systems, artificial lifestyles and artificial superficial relationships? That is the waking dream, or perhaps waking nightmare, that we are all starting to realise we're in right now. And I think it's the real cause behind what's been called the Great Resignation. You might have heard about this. More and more people are wanting to quit the nine to five rat race, resigning from their jobs, desperately trying to find a better way to live and exist, albeit still within the system for the most part. And that's the trick. Trying to exist within this system is not going to work. Being a freelancer or being in the gig economy isn't the long-term answer. It's another trap to keep you locked in the system. It's this system that is no longer needed. This system that puts us into little boxes and tells us right from childhood, beginning with school, that we need to be useful by having a job or a career, or that we need to earn money and pay taxes, and that if we don't follow the system's rules, we're somehow a failure. What kind of madness is this? What crazy system is this that was created to ensnare us? What is this system other than a means of control and a cruel one at that? What other animal, what other creature on the planet does this? Do you think a leopard wakes up each morning and thinks to himself, I really should get myself a job so I can earn some of that paper money stuff and buy myself the latest whatever in that big shop over there. No, of course he doesn't. He wakes up, drinks some water from a stream, catches his prey and has his dinner, and he probably has a nice snooze in a tree. Now, clearly I'm no expert on leopards and that example was intentionally glib, but you see my point. His life may require some effort 
but he doesn't struggle to find a job, struggle to pay a mortgage on a house, or worry about whether his wife will leave him if he doesn't buy her a new Tesla. The leopard doesn't live in our system. So why do we? Where did this system even come from? Who implemented it? The answers to those questions are still relatively fuzzy, and although I think there will be a great remembering from our collective past at some point, I'm not going to try to explain how we got here, except to point out that this system really isn't working for us, and it's time to leave it behind. It's not natural, and I'd wager it never was any sort of natural progression. Something artificial stepped in somewhere along the line and led humanity astray, away from our nature. Something happened in the distant past that was either forgotten, erased or hidden from our history books, and mankind was locked into this cruel straitjacket of a system that takes us further and further away from our natural and instinctive nature with every day that passes. And so we see the backlash the unveiling of the truth coming with the Great Awakening. People are remembering that there's something missing. We know that there's something very wrong with this system, but when it's all you know and you're stuck in the middle of it, it can be very difficult to work out what the problem is. Unfortunately, many have chosen to believe the anti-human myth that we are a virus on this planet or that we don't belong and that we are destroying it by our presence. I'm here to tell you that human beings are not the problem. The control system we are forced to live in is. It's the system that is at fault. It has many names, the beast system, the Babylonian money magic system, most of us just call it society. But have we ever sat down and really questioned why we carry on with it? Why do we still play this game? Does it really serve us or do we just believe that it's the only show in town or that we don't have a choice? Well, the message coming through week after week is that there is another way, a better way, and nature is calling us back to our instinctive nature so that we can tune back into ourselves, to our inner world and find it. This reawakening of the instinctual nature has had many names along the way, and it's been going along for some time now. You might have heard it called the New Age movement, there was the Law of Attraction movement, people rediscovering shamanism, old magical and spiritual practices, living off grid, foraging, etc. Many people have been yearning for something, perhaps without even fully understanding what it was or what was driving them towards it. We have been desperate to reconnect with that part of us that lives in the woods. Our instinctive nature is calling and her voice is getting louder with each passing day, every week, every month. The system has tried to fool us into believing that we can't live any other way, that it's just too difficult to live outside of its boundaries and rules. It's taught us that humans are weak and that we need all of these things. But do we really? Are any of these things honestly true? When you think about it, most of the system is either unnecessary complication or actually just bullshit. Do we really need smartphones? Does a leopard have a use for a smartphone? No, of course he doesn't. Why on earth would he need one? The internet may be useful, but it has become the artificial replacement for our instinctive nature that is connected to all. The higher ability of intuition that can access any information we need through the energy grid. But the system tells us that our higher abilities don't exist and tries to squash us down into the five sense reality, which without the higher senses to go with it can be pretty horrible. The false scarcity of resources created by this system is also becoming more and more apparent as we watch the rich and powerful few removing our ability to farm and feed ourselves or generate electricity in the name of some cause or other. The scales are falling from our eyes, and the corruption and greed of the tiny few at the top that have kept us all prisoner in this system is becoming alarmingly apparent. And it will continue to become more and more obvious throughout this decade. Watch them start to panic. I've said many times over that the 20s, this decade that we're currently in, is all about balance. 
It's number two energy that we are smack bang in the middle of and boy can we feel it right now. In numerology, number two is all about opposites, polarities, differences, going to extremes and the wisdom is to find the middle, the balance, the common ground. The gift of number two energy is that it forces us to reconsider what we're doing and look at other options. It makes us see that the extremes probably aren't the best places to be and that harmony is found in the balanced centre, our spiritual centre within. So I think the message that I've been trying to give you all by telling you all to go outside these past few months was much deeper than even I realised. The message is to go outside in order to find yourself within. Going outside in order to go in. Humanity is capable of many great and beautiful things, but we are nothing if we disconnect from our inner being. If we allow this false separation from the inner, true, wild self to happen, we can end up believing that technology is the only future, that it's our saviour, and that we really are just helpless meat sacks flying around a ball of flames on a rock. So what does the future hold as we reconnect to our instinctive nature, to the living divinity within each one of us? I think there is another misconception, again most likely originating from the system, this control grid we currently live in that the only other option is to live a hard life of toil and struggle trying to get by on our own in the wilderness. And I don't believe that's the whole truth. This is why we need to reconnect with our inner wilderness. Our instinctual nature will teach us how we can live in harmony with nature. When we tap into that aspect of ourselves fully, we will no longer need the instruction manual because it will all start to become obvious once more. Now, I should state here that I don't know exactly what this will look like. I can't see exactly what the future holds for us. But I do know that it's not the cold and miserable, minimalistic, backwards life we may have been led to believe, shivering in a hut and hoping the crops don't fail. We're not going backwards, we're moving forwards. Humanity will step back into pace with the natural world at some point soon, and increasingly so, but we will be led by our inner wisdom, not by some do-gooder berating us about having too much carbon in our bodies or whatever nonsense they go on about. And the way there is to go outside and reconnect with the hidden aspects of you and you can find those by stepping into nature. Your instinctual nature is bigger and more powerful than you ever realised. And she's waiting for you to uncover her magic. So go outside. It's time now. <laughs>